Hey guys, I'm Riz Grestar, and how about we watch a death battle? Weiss versus Mitsuru. Of course, make sure to click on the link in the description below to go to the official release first. Like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Watch that there, then come back here and we'll watch it together. So, Weiss from Ruby versus Mitsuru from Persona. I've never played any of the Persona games, so I, I know like nothing about any of that, so I really just can't talk about like any of it. And, I mean, I feel like I don't know Ruby that well either. I watched up to about the halfway point, I believe, in Volume 4, and then I just kind of stopped. If you would like to watch my reactions to those, I do have them in a playlist here. I started off reacting to them without using any of the actual, like, video itself, so you would have to open up the actual Ruby episode along with my reaction. Um, but a fair number of them, I believe, I converted to have it like a normal reaction like this video would be. But yeah, if you're interested in seeing those... Um, I'll put a link to that in the description as well, and you can check it out if you want to. But yeah, it's been a long time since I've seen the series, and again, I didn't watch terribly far. Like, we're in... they're in Volume 6 or 7 now, aren't they? Something like that. So definitely more stuff has happened. I assume the characters would have grown in that time. Um, so I don't know what Weiss at this point is really capable of, or even what she was necessarily capable of in the series as I watched it. So I just really feel like I cannot contribute much before I ever watch the video. So with that very little said, let's get to watching. And play. So we have their new intro once again. That's right, weapons, armor, and skill. See it at RTX, you could do that thing if you guys wanted. Oh, so that's not a new intro, that's just a, an advertisement for the RTX. Okay, gotcha. Anyway, yes, this is a death battle. Why send me to go? They're as cold as ice. They're willing to sacrifice. Today, we're pitting together that's fair. two queens that's fair, of ice stick. born into powerful, if troubled, families. Why Snee, heiress to the Snee Dust Company and member of the Huntress Team Ruby. And Mitsuru Kirijo, heiress to the Kirijo group and member of the Persona Wielding Seas. Yeah, I know He's nothing about her. <laughs> boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Right. Go. The world Teach me of the Remnant things. is known for many things. The vicious creatures called Grim, the hunters and huntresses committed to fighting them, and the Shni family. Yeah, they're kind of like royalty, and their princess is White Shnee. As I mean, they're, the just, to the family they're company, just very rich. I don't think they're like cool royalty. Home. Pun intended. The Schnee family expected a lot from Weiss. It was considered essential that she live up to their highly influential name. Too bad for them, she had her own plans. Rejecting her father's wishes to remain at home, Weiss left to attend Beacon Academy and train to become a huntress. Literally right, putting the did. W in Team Ruby. Within just that's year, how that Weiss works established with the team name naming. Herself saving the kingdom on more than one occasion, and doing so with her trusty blade, Myrtanaster. And that's McHugh. Merc Nasty here is a multi-action rapier with a three-foot-long blade. But guess what? It's also a gun! Instead of a plain old cross guard, it's got a six-slot revolver-style chamber that Weiss that's filled with bullets long? colored like the <laughs> rainbow. Well, I guess. Not exactly bullets. They are vials of dust, which she can fire to enhance her weapon and skills. Ironically, the Schnee Dust Company is by far one of the largest producers and exporters of dust. Wait, wait, wait. They sell dust? I got a ton of that shit covering the bookshelf in my It's special I dust, can sell it and finally have enough money to buy a second bookshelf. Dust farm, here I come. No, not that kind of dust. In the world of Remnant, dust is an energy source, often used to fuel vehicles, androids, and weapons. Wait, you have books? When did I say anything about books? <laughs> Just bookshelves. Well, long story short, are there are singular. four main types of dust. Air, right. lightning, fire, and water. And Weiss likes to mix water and air together for her favorite, ice dust. And that is why they call you the Ice Queen. She can also attack with fire, launch a wind I feel like that was taken out of context. With barriers, and many, many other techniques. Needless to say, Myrtanaster is a surprisingly versatile weapon. She also uses dust to boost her semblance, which is basically her X-Men superpower. Weiss gets hers from her family line and can do a bunch of stuff with it. She can make glyphs on surfaces or in the air, each with mm -hmm. a different color denoting its ability. Black glyphs hold things in place, while white ones propel things forward. Also, by infusing glyphs with dust, she can manipulate their effects. For example, a touch of lightning dust lets her dilate time, dramatically increasing her speed. 
Or even oh. better, she can use the glyphs to summon monsters to aid her in battle, Beastmaster style. That one I remember. Like this crazy boar, a giant killer wasp, and the Armagigas. Which literally translates to giant armor in Latin, so oh. fitting. Damn, yeah. <laughs> just imagine how great her family could be if they all didn't hate each other. Unlimited dust, giant yeah. monsters you can summon any time, and they'd never be stuck with warm beer. Unfortunately, the Schnee family does suffer from some rocky relationships, with they the exception do. of Weiss and her older sister, Winter. Wait, 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 go back. Is her dad Colonel Sanders? I guess there's a certain <laughs> resemblance. AFC, KF, Schnee? No wonder they're so rich. Where did you get no. that chicken? <laughs> what? You don't carry pocket chicken? That wasn't even so like a valid connection. Topic, Weiss has a very powerful and versatile ability, and like most semblances, it's powered by her aura. Which is like an invisible shield around her body. She's basically unkillable while it's up. Though the aura itself isn't indestructible. It no, can no, be depleted no after means. taking a lot of damage and needs time to restore itself. Without it, she cannot use her semblance and she's much more vulnerable. But that aura is pretty friggin' tough. It was just enough to take a full-on hit from a geyser of lava. Lava can reach temperatures up to 1200 degrees Celsius, enough to melt iron. And during a food fight of all things, she was thrown into a pillar so hard it was obliterated. Hey Wiz, I've been in a few food fights in my time and <laughs> that shit gets intense. And that was tame by comparison. But that intense boob With a combination of ice and her aura, she survived riding atop a speeding train crashing through concrete. By measuring the diameter of the resulting hole and applying the values of fragmentation, this means Weiss survived an impact equal to over seven tons of TNT. But really? it's not just Weiss that's tough. Does she take her a direct hit, though? strong enough to catapult the Armagigas. And with her ice powers, she's knocked around a giant mech built for fighting Godzilla-sized Grimm. Compared hmm. to the height of her teammate nearby, it appears she created over 2,000 metric tons of ice. Obviously, that much ice doesn't fit into two vials of dust. She's likely <laughs> using the ocean as a base to exert fusion energy and vaporization energy on the nitrogen in the air. Yeah, of course. Freezing it That's like probably so. what it is. At most, I, this I would require over 900 billion joules of energy, equivalent to detonating around 230 tons of TNT. Wow! No wonder she could push that big old robot around. Plus, Weiss can also move super quick, dodging missiles and even hitting bullets out of the air. And with time dilation, she can stay nearly untouchable while taking out her opponents in the blink of an eye. Like that mm. old saying, float like an inner tube on a lazy river and sting like your pee in the morning. Please go to a doctor. <laughs> Throughout her journey, Weiss has overcome all sorts of dangers, but her most difficult task may have been the moment her father cut her out of the family, leaving her financially oh. broke and dismissed from her birthright. Ah, boo-hoo, no more allowance. <laughs> Still, she's powered through and made a name for herself as a huntress. With the ruby team at her back, I think she's found the family she Yeah, I think it's healthier to. for her to probably be away from her family. They were kind of douches. <laughs> I'm more than a name. All right, well, let's see what Mitsuru has, because I don't bloody know. It would be hard-pressed to find someone in Japan who didn't know of the Kirijo group, a global conglomerate involved in nearly every aspect of daily life. And the heiress to this impressive company was a young girl named Mitsuru Kirijo. But unknown to her, the family company was into some pretty sketchy stuff. Her grandpa started experimenting I mean, what company with some it? sort of mental world called the Mind Place. Or more oh. officially, the collective unconscious, a realm oh. connected to every living being's subconscious mind. Yeah, and cool. within the collective unconscious dwells shadows, fragments of human psyche which often appear as malevolent monsters. Oh no. They're basically demons. Kind of. However, there's another sort more directly integrated with the minds of individual people, effectively becoming their shadow selves. So some of them are demons who want to kill you, and some of them are demons who are part of your brain? Eh, close enough. Well, okay. Gramps tried to get the shadows for himself, but as anyone who's tried to summon demons will tell you, <laughs> don't, don't do that. Yeah, Trust don't. Me, <laughs> it's just stop. It never works out. And when it does, it doesn't. Chaos Incarnate <laughs> erupted. The resulting explosion from his experiment released the shadows into reality to prey on an unsuspecting populace and unveiled the Tartarus, a citadel between worlds. The Earth was drastically changed with a new dark hour. An extra mm. hour of time occurring at midnight. Most oh. folks didn't notice, though. The world basically freezes in time during the dark hour, including people. So nobody's got to pick up a new 25-hour clock, because when the hour runs up, everything continues like nothing happened. 
It's That's like weird. an extra hour of secret sleep. But <laughs> some people are able to operate during this hour, including oh. Mitsuru, which she decided to take full advantage of. Yeah, she felt pretty guilty about her family basically ruining everything and sending hundreds of murder monsters into the world. So she swore to fix her grandpappy's mess. And while she's certainly skilled That's with her rapier her. thanks to her time in fencing club, a single sword would never be enough to combat the hordes of shadows. Luckily, her first experience with the Dark Hour helped her out in this regard. How so? And one way to put it, she and her dad were almost murdered by spooky shadows. <laughs> but this event also led to an awakening. With the threat of death itself mere seconds away, Mitsuru dug deep within and found a new weapon, her shadow self. And ah. that's how she became a person user. Persona so the shadow user. selves yeah, are personas? That? Thanks to this fateful okay. night, Mitsuru can summon a manifestation of her personality known as a persona. This hmm. was Penthesilia, who would eventually evolve into her ultimate form, Artemisia. Artie is the best non-imaginary friend you could ask for. She's got all sorts of powerful ice spells. She can heal Mitsuru's wounds. She can drain someone's energy and add it to Mitsuru's own. And she can blow people up with mega deal of, uh, It's a big purple kaboom that ignores special defenses. Anyway, okay. and to top it all off, <laughs> she's got a kinky ice whip. While Artemisia what? cannot really be killed, she does have her limits. When a persona is overtaxed or takes too much damage, it becomes broken and unusable for a short time. And okay. since Artemisia is technically part of Mitsuru's mind, when the persona gets hurt, so does she. But oh. this connection also grants Mitsuru her own set of special powers. She's physically superior to most others. She can also sense the locations of people and layouts of buildings through analytical clairvoyance. She's also immune to ice and the cold, so I'm not really sure why she needs a giant fur coat. Everyone it's needs a good fur coat, Wiz. Come on. Uh, I guess. It is a pretty nice coat. Anyway, Mitsuru wasn't going into battle alone. She gathered a team of Persona users to form the Specialized Extracurricular Execution Squad, or Seeds, which is much easier to say. The team okay. set out to explore Tartarus, combat the shadows, and put an end to the Dark Hour, while also scoring some extra credit because it was technically an after-school club. Japanese oh, good for them. schools are way more hardcore than ours. And with a team at her back, Mitsuru needed a tool to reliably summon Personas with. And so came the Evoker, which might be a oh. little disturbing to some people, so fair warning. Yeah, oh, is that the thing you shoot like yourself in the head? kind of the point. The idea is to use the gun to create an extremely dramatic experience similar to how Mitsuru first evoked <laughs> her own Persona. Specifically, this is accomplished by aiming the thing at your face and pulling the trigger. Yeah, that's definitely not how Wait, this isn't your face. This is the side of your head. Aside, Mitsuru and her You're persona saying. are an absolute terror on the battlefield. Oh, God! Did, did she just cut off that thing's dick? Yes, she did, Boomstick. And it was oh. a goddamn cannon. Oh, the horror, but also <laughs> cannon dick. Mitsuru is quick enough to dodge gunfire. Heck, another Persona user is even fast enough to outrun a bullet fired by a Magnum. Those usually have a muzzle velocity of over 360 meters per second. And well, that's another can Persona fighter. Faster. Why are you telling me that? And catch an arrow in milliseconds. And Mitsuru has defeated her in battle. But hey, how about that time Mitsuru and her whole team survived an explosion that totally wrecked this whole bridge? Now, uh, in my humble opinion, using my very own handcrafted munitions measurement chart, I'd uh -huh. say this blast ball is somewhere in the range of, oh shit, we're dead. <laughs> Interesting, but let's use some real science now. Please, this yes. This is real science. I tested explosions and their real effects on real people, just like you would. I'm that's real terrible. Now. <laughs> but that's, wait, real people? Boomstick, where are the interns? Uh, uh, I, oh hey, no! Look, I got you that coat that you wanted. Ooh, thank you. Wiz, focus. <laughs> but hey, uh, Wiz, there's one more math thing you gotta Poor do. Interns. By working with another Persona user, Yukari, Mitsuru helped freeze up this giant, creepy puppet monster. Well, again, taking nitrogen into account as it comprises 70% of air's makeup, we can apply its required fusion energy and vaporization energy to find this feat would need an energy output mm -hmm. equal to 60 kilotons of TNT. Though okay. this can't all be attributed to Mitsuru as she did. Have I don't remember what the other one was. Still a hell of a lot of ice. <laughs> Mitsuru and Artemisia sure make a powerful pair. And even after successfully ending the dark hour and redeeming her family name, Mitsuru continued battling for people everywhere. One shadow. Are we seriously at the end of hers? This appears to be just the beginning. I feel like I've learned nothing. 
I feel like I learned oh, nothing like about what Mitsuru is actually capable of. Click, cool. First, you cut off a cannon dick. Digging, so nice. What does that mean, strength-wise? Anyway, skipping right the commercial. Now, it's time for a death battle and pause. All right, prediction time. I have to guess that Weiss is going to win. Now, this might be. That might be wrong because, like, I feel I feel they weren't really forthcoming with Mitsuru's information. Maybe I'm just really tired and dumb and missed all of it. That's certainly a possibility. But I just feel like they didn't actually give, like, numbers and, like, good feats for almost anything. They're just like, one of her teammates could outrun a bullet and she beat them. Cool! Thanks for that! That doesn't tell me all that much. You know, like, it was just things like that. And so, you know, it seems to me that Weiss herself is superior to Mitsuru, um, and that maybe Weiss and Mitsuru's persona, Artemis, whatever, you know, like, that they they are more closely matched. Um, but, you know, the persona will only last so long, and when you damage the persona, you also damage the user, you know, Mitsuru. And so it's like, I don't know. Um, now, you know, one of the things is that Mitsuru was immune to ice damage, and that is like Weiss's, you know, specialty, you could say, but she doesn't only deal ice damage. I mean, you know, Weiss also has the whole, like, time slow effect, the dilation, like, that's super powerful. Um, she, from what I was able to determine here, you know, Weiss is just able to stand a lot more. Um, she's fought, like, bigger and harder opponents, it seems like. Um, and I, th I think she's capable of doing more on her own than with the team. And so, I don't know, it just, it just seems like Weiss is going to win. I can't do a bunch of comparisons, because again, I, I either missed a ton of stuff with Mitsuru, or they didn't, like, explain it well enough, and so I just don't feel like I have the feats or the numbers to really compare. They did give numbers with the whole, like, freezing thing, um, you know, with how much ice, like, Weiss generated when they were fighting that Kaiju Grim versus, like, Mitsuru freezing, whatever that giant thing was. But, um, like, on top of the numbers, Mitsuru also apparently had help from friends during that part. Like, what is it? I, I complete- I don't know what they were telling me with Mitsuru. I just don't know what she's capable of, like, at all still, and I'm really disappointed with that part. Like, I don't know if I should be hating myself for missing so much, or if I should be, like, hating that particular analysis portion of Death Battle, because I just feel like I learned nothing. Like, I learned more about Persona and the background and everything, but as far as what Mitsuru and Artemis, again, that's not her name, but I forget. I'm pretty sure it was Artemis. It was something like that. I just don't know what they're capable of. So anyway, Weiss is going to win and play. The biggest thing I'm worried about with Mitsuru is that one attack that'll, like, ignore special defense, because I don't know if that would count the aura. You know what I mean? Also, why are they fighting? It literally started with them fighting. Did I miss their dialogue? Yeah, because I was talking. But... Fighting new ice. Ironic. And a waste of time. Artemisia! No, just because cold doesn't bother you doesn't mean that the force of, like, blunt damage or impalement won't bother you. You got this, Weiss! <laughs> please, please kill her. <laughs> <laughs> well, there goes the wasp. Oh no, it's the Armagigas? Is that what it was? It's the giant armor! Kill giant armor! I like that it gave that nod. <laughs> Let's 
gonna say, it's not gone already, right? It just was tripped. Now it's gone, that's understandable. I have to admit, you fought valiantly. But now, you'll fall by my own hand! Why do you think it's over? Did that ignore her aura? Was that it going away? Uh, how strong are you? Strong enough. She was already out, wasn't she? Yeah! I'm very confused. Oh, that doesn't look good for Weiss. All right, I'll take it. Well, Not happily, but these coats whatever. Cool. Weiss was incredibly skilled. Her versatility certainly proved a challenge for Mitsuru, and she held a decent advantage in speed thanks to time dilation. Though to be fair, Mitsuru's analytical clairvoyance meant it would have been pretty difficult for Weiss to get the jump on her. Plus, Naoto's persona had to move around Mach 7 to catch that arrow in such a short amount of time, so Artemisia must be capable of similar speeds. No, she- yeah, no! No, that, like just because she beat her doesn't mean it. that they're similar, capable ways, of similar yes, speeds. But we look for who can win the most matches overall, not just a couple times out of a thousand possibilities thanks to one good move. Yeah, even though Weiss had plenty of attack options, Mitsuru's defenses were just too strong. Like how she completely cancelled Weiss's ice attacks. This presents no, she a wouldn't. problem for No, Weiss. she wouldn't! She's always been fairly reliant on ice techniques. She was forced to use dust which she has less experience with. Plus, Weiss and her summons have never dealt with I mean, unless Persona's just dumb that like that. Shit were dead explosion that Mitsuru survived. By taking the diameter of the blast here and comparing it to real life nukes, then considering how far Mitsuru was from the center of it, she took a hit worth over 21 tons of TNT. Definitely higher than Weiss's 7 ton train feet. Frankly, Mitsuru's survivability and power output outclassed Weiss. Even if we cut her major ice feet in half since she was aided by Yukari, Mitsuru still output 130 times more energy than Weiss when she attacked that mech. Okay. But numbers aren't everything, right? Sure, there's always a new way to look at things. For instance, Weiss's arsenal was limited by her aura and dust supply, while Mitsuru had no such constraint on her own powers. She could it just keep shooting herself in the head, aura. I guess. And remember, when a persona gets broken, it can just come back a few seconds later. I didn't know was that. extremely useful, as Artemisia could heal Mitsuru at any time, undoing whatever progress Weiss had made. Wow. Oh, man. What an it's almost like there was no threat while then Weiss's going into this. And versatility put up a good fight. Mitsuru's greater defense, raw power, and more reliable arsenal proved too much for the Huntress. She had no chance. The winner is Mitsuru Kirijo. Claps for Mitsuru, because we're still good sports about things. Hey, thanks for watching Death Battle. No Don't problem. away just yet. We're about to announce the next fight. Okay. And if you haven't seen the latest episode of our podcast, the Death Battle Cast, you can click it right there. Next time on Death Battle. Captain Falcon. And Cage. Who? I don't know who that is. I don't know who it is by Cage alone. Anyway, let's talk briefly about this death battle. Obviously, I'm not happy about it. Um, but I, I do want to get my positives out of the way. Um, I think that the animation was really good. I think that the choreography was really nice. Um, it seemed to have pretty good pacing. I mean, I have some complaints about the pacing. Just because it seemed... I don't know. Maybe because they weren't going as much in their formula as I have it in my mind. Um, but something about the pacing was off. But overall, like, it looked really nice and the fighting was good. Um, I thought that the sound design, you know, all that sort of thing, um, you know, that worked well for the fight. It gave the, the hits impact and everything like that. So, that was good. I liked the animation. Um, kinda hated the analyses, just looking back on it. I just, again, I just feel like I learned so little. Um, and sure, like, I, I'll totally accept Okay, the ice thing was bigger on Mitsuri's part. Cool. Even if it was, you know, to me, a little misleading. Um, you know, if the explosion surviving that was bigger than anything the Weiss has done, cool. You know, I'll accept that because that's just a matter of my own ignorance. But 
Um, I feel like a lot of the times the presentation on Mitsuri's part in particular was just done poorly. Um, and so I can't help but feel a little bit cheated in that regard. Did I miss things? Yes, because I always miss things because I'm an oblivious person and you guys should know that by now. But <laughs> I just, I don't know, I can't feel happy about the analyses. Um, so the fight seems pretty well done. I have no idea why they were fighting. They might have said something in, in the dialogue at the very beginning of the fight that I missed because again, I was talking. But um, there didn't seem to be a story there. They were just like, as soon as it opened up on the scene, they were fighting already. So, you know, a little unfortunate there for me that I didn't get my story. So it looked nice, it sounded nice. Um, it was a cool fight. But um, ultimately, I look for more than that in my death battles, and I did not get exactly what I was looking for. You know, it's not just because I got the fight wrong, it's not because I guessed incorrectly, but because I felt that I wasn't able to guess with the stuff that I was really given, you know? I could have made use of those two feats if I had really remembered the numbers, basically, but aside from that, you know, it's, um, it, it just didn't, it didn't work for me, I guess I would say. So, yeah, and I certainly, I really disagree with all like, well, Mitsuru was, you know, immune to ice because she's also an ice queen or whatever. And like, no, that's so stupid. Like, again, if that's actually how Persona works, that's really dumb, unless it's just to dumb it down for game mechanics sake, like in Pokemon, you know, when certain Pokemon types are immune to other Pokemon types. Um, but like, looking at this, just because Ice is using, or Weiss is using Ice powers, doesn't mean that Mitsuru wouldn't be affected by like, the blunt damage, or the piercing damage, or things like that. She simply wouldn't be affected by the cold damage, because that's how things work. That's how it works, you know? If you're hit by, like, a really sharp object moving at high speeds, you're going to feel pain. That's just... Doesn't matter if it's made of an element that you're super chill with, it just doesn't matter. And so... So that was, that was really dumb in the death battle, in my opinion, that they would just immediately count that out. If that's part of the Persona games, if that's how it is, fine. But again, I'm not familiar with the Persona games, and so like, you know, I don't know if death battle's just being super true to that, but it obviously ticked me off. So there's that. Um, and then I guess I apparently, like, like I said at the beginning of the fight, and this is why I missed the dialogue as I was saying this. Um, I was concerned with Mitsuri's ability or Artemisia's ability, whatever, um, to deal that one attack. To do the attack that dealt damage regardless of like any special defenses, you know? Because I was wondering if that would penetrate the aura. Um, and it did. It certainly seemed like it did, and that did not work out well for Weiss. But I also didn't know that Mitsuru could just shoot herself in the head again and immediately get her persona back. It seems like that eliminates really all need for threat. I mean, it's like, okay, cool, you can immediately summon her again, and then she can heal you, and she's at full strength, and you're suddenly at full strength again. I mean, obviously, there is still a threat. If you get someone who can hit hard enough and fast enough, etc., um, to, like, kill me to do before anything else could happen, yeah. But, in every other case, does it, does it really matter? What are the stakes at that point? What are the stakes? So, yeah, I unfortunately, I didn't really love this death battle. Fight was cool. But, um, the rest of it just kind of muddled it up for me. Uh, made me feel not as great as I would otherwise like to. But let me know what you guys thought about this death battle in the comments below. You know, whether you like it, whether you disliked it, what you thought about this or that, etc. So on and so forth. And, again, I really don't know anything about this upcoming one. I know of Captain Falcon, but only from, like, the Smash Brothers games. I don't know about him from the F-Zero games or his own, like, anime or anything like that. Pretty sure he has an anime. Um, I know that I've seen, like, scenes of his Falcon Punch and everything. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I really don't know about him, and I don't know who Cage is. So, yeah, I just can't say much about that. But thank you guys for watching, and with that, we're calling it here. Cue outro, go!